The Carbondale Dispatch won't be seen this week so that I can bring you a special program. Istanbul, the lost episode, a video that I made last summer and completely forgot to publish. The Dispatch will be back next week at its regular time. Did you ever wonder what the difference between a tourist and a traveler is? Have you ever thought about this at all? Well, I hadn't until recently. And I did some research about what, tourist is, what a tourist is and what a traveler is and what the differences between the two might be. The thing that got me started thinking about this was when I was wandering around over in the Sultan Ahmet area, the major tourist area here in Istanbul, and I was always being approached by people that wanted to take me to their shop, show me carpeting, or carpets I guess, uh, jewelry or some kind of arts and craft type thing. And the way that a lot of people call this a scam, but it's not a scam, it's, it's a legitimate job. These people are out trying to find customers for their shop or their employer or something like that. But the way it works is you're walking around and someone will come up and say something to you in, in Turkish. And you might say, oh, I don't speak Turkish. And they say, oh, I thought you were Turkish. And their whole, their whole goal is to strike up a conversation, you know, maybe get a little bit chatty. And they'll ask you where you're from. And if you say the United States, then they will say that they have a brother, an uncle, or a cousin who lives in, I don't know, California or Texas, just to try to establish some kind of connection with you. And then they'll invite you to their carpet shop or their jewelry shop or something like that. I tested this out once and uh, instead of saying the United States, I said I was from Canada. And the brother, uncle, or cousin, of course, was from Vancouver or lived in Vancouver. So it's, it's a pretext. But anyway, I always thought that there's something wrong with me because I'm not interested in anything that they're selling. So at first I was annoyed. Then I realized what they were doing and I try to talk with them, maybe joke with them. But the bottom line is no matter what they're selling, I'm not interested. So I started to think, why? Why not? Honestly, I know the reasons why I don't want to buy a carpet. What the heck am I going to do with a carpet? But then I realized that the people they run into over near these big tourist attractions are almost all people who are here for a short amount of time that are going to be leaving soon. And if they're going to sell a carpet, they have to get them into the store pronto. So since I'm always on the prowl for video topics, I was going to make a video about how I'm the world's worst tourist. So I started doing some research and that's how I came across this tourist versus traveler thing. And I realized that this is something new to me. I had never really heard this. Although from all the reading I did on Google, I realized that this is actually a theme. And when people write articles for travel magazines and blogs and things like that, they come up with different differences or distinctions between a tourist and a traveler. A tourist has a short amount of time, so they're going to be doing things that a traveler might not be interested in. But anyway, there are a few differences that I've come up with and based on research that others have come up with that I'm going to talk about now. First thing that sets them apart is an itinerary. Tourists usually have a much stricter or tighter plan that they follow to make full, time, full use of all the time they have on their trip. So they may have things planned in the morning, they'll have lunch, then they have something in the afternoon. Sometimes they'll even have something planned for the evening. Whereas a traveler, on the other hand, might not have anything planned at all. Sometimes if they do plan something, it might be one thing that they're doing during the day. Now it might take all day, but there's only one thing. But the point is they don't overschedule. That's the main thing between a tourist and a traveler, I think. Tourists have a tendency to overschedule things because they have a limited amount of time. And when they do that, they find out that after the second or third day, 
maybe even before that, that they're exhausted and they're looking forward to the trip home again. Second thing are companions. Tourists, generally speaking, travel with somebody else. Travelers are usually solo. Now, when a tourist travels with companions, they run the risk of taking their home bubble with them wherever they go. So if you're traveling with your family, you're gonna do things that you normally do as a family, no matter where you go. And the chances of getting outside that bubble are slim. But the main difference between tourists and travelers is that travelers don't have that bubble with them. They're traveling on their own. So they're either existing all by themselves within another culture, or they're joining in with other bubbles they find on the trip. Another aspect of this is when you travel in a group, you might take a book tour or an organized tour somewhere, and you're within the bubble of the tour group or the tour operator itself. So in that sense, tourists, generally speaking, don't really experience local culture as much as someone who is more of a traveler might. The next thing is time. Tourists don't have as much time as a traveler would. A traveler has all the time in the world sometimes because that's all they're doing is traveling. They don't really have a plan, they're just traveling. Whereas a tourist, like I said, under the itinerary portion, they have a specific amount of time to get to where their, their vacation is or their tour is, and then a specific amount of time to get back home again. So everything is rushed, everything is compressed, and things get hectic. Whereas with a traveler, there may not be any plan at all, and things are unlikely to get hectic. Another way to tell the difference between a tourist and a traveler is to look at the kinds of pictures they take. Tourists sometimes have pictures of them standing in front of all the famous places they visit. Maybe they're with their friends, things like that. Travelers might have pictures of the places that a tourist might visit, but they're not in the picture. It's just a picture of the place. Travelers are more into the location, whereas tourists, I think, are more into them being in the location. The last thing I want to talk about are souvenirs. Travelers don't pick up many souvenirs because they don't have the space to carry them around. Everything that they buy is extra weight that they're hauling around at airports and things like that. Tourists, on the other hand, collect souvenirs as remembrances of the places they've been. When I was in high school, I remember there was a t-shirt that I saw for sale in one of the shops, and it said, my dad went to the moon and all he bought brought back was this lousy rock. You have to think about it. The thing that really bugged me in my research was the condescending attitude that a lot of the writers took trying to build up the fact that travelers were oh so great and tourists were not. I think we're all tourists and we're all travelers to some extent at different times. If you go on vacation and you have a short amount of time, then you're probably a tourist. But if you take a trip where you don't really have any solid, definite plans and you're just going to wander, which is pretty much what I'm doing now, I'm a traveler, or you're a traveler. But some places I go, I'm going to have organized tours that I might go on, and that makes me a tourist again. And there's no difference between the two. One is not better than the other. I think it's more of a mindset than anything else. And depending on what you're up to, what you have money for, where you're going and how much time you have, you're either a tourist or a traveler, and you don't have to worry about being either one. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Hey folks, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe by clicking my face over there on the left. That's it for today. I'll show myself out.